The name Skinwalker Ranch actually comes from the Native Americans. I said all of this. They had moved, the Gormans that is, they would moved to the 480-acre ranch from from the New Mexico suburb, suburbs yeah. to start their cattle ranch. They purchased the property from an elderly couple who had basically abandoned it for life in Salt Lake City. Yeah. From day one, moving on to the ranch. by Mormons. Yeah. Um, Gormans are Mormons. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why I said that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. They were. If the Gormans were Mormons? Nickname Mormon. Sorry. If the Gorman's nickname mm-hmm. was based off their real nickname, or ah, oh, fuck it, Josh can't, I can't think straight, guys. It's okay. It's okay. A lot of allergy Just medicine. Go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Just Good enjoy, night. enjoy the show. Good night, night. <laughs> uh, so from day one, moving into the ranch, the Gormans began experiencing odd things. Yeah. And this is where it all begins. Day on one, moving day, day one. Literally. While moving boxes from the truck into the main house, Tom Gorman, the mm-hmm. husband and father noticed an animal walking in his direction off in the fields. He didn't immediately recognize what type of animal it was, only that it was big. Yeah. At 400 yards away, he began to see it more clearly. It was much larger than a wolf, and by this time, his wife Ellen noticed it too and began inquisitively staring at the beast. As huh? it, oh, what is it? As it walked closer and closer, they noted the gray fur it had and the wet coat from walking through the tall, wet grass, not showing any sign of slowing or hesitation as it continued its trek towards them. Hey, it's Billy! <laughs> it's Billy, my pet he's, wolf. <laughs> hey, he's wearing a wolf pelt. A wolf, a wolf coat. A wolf pelt. We went we on a, a journey. journey and took a ride. <laughs> uh, the ride is off. Please leave. Please leave. <laughs> Exits are on the sides and here, 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 front here, and here, back. Here, 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 here. Um, that's the genie. Yes, I love I love that genie. Yes. Anyways, by this point, they were thinking it was a wolf, but when it stopped fifty yards away from the family, they could see be- see better that its size would make that three times larger than any wolf Tom had ever seen. Up to his chest. Yes. The back was. It stood there just staring at Ellen. Ed, Tom's father, remarked, "Maybe it's someone's pet. It's a fucking big pet. Jesus, it's <laughs> it a can- Malamute." What the fuck's that? You should look it up. It's a giant dog. Okay. Mr. I have the explanations for things. (laughs) (laughs) Go fuck yourself. Well, no, that's your task. Jamie Foxx is at death's door? Yeah, I heard. Really? Yeah, he's been in the hospital for like a month. What the fuck happened? I know some kind of major medical emergency. They rushed him in and he's been there. Hmm. I just watched a commercial he was in. Great. <laughs> what a big fan. <laughs> big fan. Big, big fan. So he thought maybe it was someone's pet. No. It, it continued its mission towards the family and right toward the herd of prized calves in the corral the family had just moved onto the property, the mainstay of their livelihood. One of these calves, too, saw the creature and had its big boy pants on that day, oh. peering at it, at its approaching predator. Now, 100 feet away, with its head through the bars of the fence. So the calf was watching it walk towards the family. And it said, here, let me just get my snout out. The calf put its head through the fence to get a look at it, while the rest of the calves turned tail and scurried. <laughs> they, they, sure, were off they, and, they were in the back of the car. They were. They were like, get the fuck out of here. Anyway. Ow. By the time the beast was 10 feet away from the family, now all frozen in shock and fear, in terror, I meant to say, they could smell the wet dog scent emanating off of the creature in the air. Then it casually walked up to Ed, a man standing over six foot tall, who was now squared up against a wolf creature that's head was up to his chest. It's a big fucker. Yeah, it was. Sorry, I'm I'm copying a uh, image to give to you. Okay. You're gonna have something. Jamie Fox is at Fox the door. <laughs> Fox's door. Yeah, he's been in the hospital for like a month. Didn't you just watch a commercial? <laughs> I'm a big fan. Big fan. <laughs> That's not a great picture of him, but oh, okay. So it's a big dog. You can go ahead and delete that now, because <laughs> right. I just exited everything. Awesome. Well, yeah, that's a big dog. Anyways, Ed petted the huge muscular beast after it walked up to him. Remember, he squared up against it. <laughs> he pet the fucking thing. Mm-hmm. And Tom really began to suspect something wasn't right. So. Just Just didn't smell right, look right, or seem right. No. But just as calmly as it approached the family and stopped. A snack. 
But so too calmly did it turn and lunge to the calf's head through the gate. <laughs> yes, it did. In a split second, the calf's head was in the beast's mouth. The beast leveraged its legs against the gate and was trying everything it had to pull the calf through the slots. Tom and Ed ran towards the screams coming from the calf and began to beat the beast. Meow. Tom kicking the <laughs> shit. I went to say moo when it came out. Meow. Oh, My apologies, dude. It's all good. Tom kicking the piss out of its ribs mm. and stomach, mm. and mm. Ed mm. had secured a baseball bat on his way over and delivered blow after blow to its back. And she's like, "Yeah, fuck off. I'm I'm hungry." Pretty much all of which seemed not to phase the beast at all. Still ripping the calf. Still trying to rip at the calf through the. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ted, Tom, and Terry. <laughs> Ted, Tom, and Terry. <laughs> Ted. No, I the comma wasn't put in. Ah. Ted. <coughs> Ted. Ted. Tom and Ellen's son retrieved Tom's 357 Magnum as he demanded, and Tom proceeded to pump three bullets into the beast's chest at near point blank range. He was like less than 10 foot away. He was progressively walking towards it. Yes. The creature should have dropped after the first, but on the third, it just started signs of slowly releasing the calf's mouth, the calf out of its mouth. It said. And stood there staring at Tom. It was unfazed by three, three, mm. 357 Magnum shots to the chest. Those are a good-sized gun. Yes, it's one of the bigger handguns. Let go of the calf's head and then turned and stared at Tom. I shit my pants. Yeah. Tom quickly put a fourth round into the beast's chest. Sorry. It's okay. And it slowly started backing away while staring him down. Motherfucker. All of these shots should have dropped the animal or even made it show signs of injury or pain, but none of these were present. It acted as if it was mildly disappointed rather than shot four times. Tom, I'm disappointed in you. Why did you do this? We gonna be friends. <laughs> you petted me and everything. We were, we were friends. God damn it. God damn it, Tom. God damn it, Tom. When it was about... Let <laughs> <laughs> me move closer. The beast's eyes remained locked with Tom's, and it slowly started backing away the whole time facing Tom. When it was about 30 yards away, Tom asked someone to grab his 30 6 to which Tad ran and retrieved. Another Jesus decent-sized gun. Blast him! Yeah. No blood trail could be seen from the creature, and the fear crept over the family. Tom raised up his gun at the creature, which he had used many times to take down elk and let loose a projectile which unmistakably hit near its shoulder yes it did it was still unfazed and still staring tom down yes it did he took aim for a second shot and fired this one pierced its chest and sent a hunk of flesh flying to the ground just the chunk of meat big old chunk of meat the beast was still unfazed took a final look at the family and turned around and simply trotted away i'm disappointed in you tom how many shots you want to take at me before you realize we were going to be friends? I thought you would just give me a snack. You give me a calf, I, I, I don't give you kill you. <laughs> Ellen began to cry, and the kids stood by panicked and afraid. What the fuck is crying going to do? <laughs> Get in the house. That's Get out of here. That's fucked up. It's 2023, Josh. <laughs> we don't talk to women like this. I would never talk to women like this. I know you wouldn't. <laughs> okay. <I> was... <laughs> Maybe if I did, though, I'd actually get more. Oh. Huh. They do like the assholes. They do like asshole men. Yeah. They, why do nice guys always lose? Except, I mean, I'm I mean, I'm mean, getting married. I have no room to complain, but I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. So you've already lost. It's over. I think I won. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, Tom decided he was going to go after it. It's a it good was, idea. He was headed straight for a group of cottonwoods, and after that, there was a creek. I mean, when I shoot something, which I never shot a gun, when I shoot something, it's yeah. just like, whatever. I'm going to go after it. I'm going to say, yeah, I know you're walking away and retreating, uh -huh. but motherfucker, I'm going to shoot you again. Well, I think it was more of a fear thing of, I don't want this big-ass bitch to come back. If it ate all Listen, those shots. Well, yeah. And. Well, yeah. it. it dude, you shot it. <laughs> Jeff's back. You shot it six or seven times. And the thing is just like, yeah, I'm just going to trot off then. Fine. Yeah, what is a couple more shots going to do? I don't know. A fucking sink some more into Listen. it, maybe. I, I don't blame him. He's got a fuck ton of calves. It already tried to take one out. Yeah. And he's got kids and a wife, you know? I yeah, don't blame I know. him. Well, okay. Maybe after I clean the shit out of my pants, I would go there get him. We can have more shit in there in a few minutes. You <laughs> might as well just keep it. Shut <laughs> it back in. <laughs> what do I do with this? <laughs> so after he decided to go after it, I... 
Yeah, I didn't mean to say any of that. <laughs> it was headed straight for a group of cottonwoods, as he said. Mm-hmm. And after that, there was a creek, so he knew he had to get to it very quickly. Yeah. So armed with the two guns, Tom and Ted, his mm-hmm. son, remember, ran after it. It was making incredible distance, even at a trot, and approaching the cottonwoods. A little switcheroonie. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about. Um... So they ran after it, and it, even with it trotting, it was still covering a fuck ton of ground. Absolutely. Because it was a big bitch. A big boy. <laughs> it's a big bitch. <laughs> As they struggled to keep pace with the animal, Tom noticed on the ground distinct, visible tracks the animal was leaving behind. As they approached the creek side, they no longer spotted the animal. But Tom, the experienced tracker, could see the paw prints in the mud and followed them. That's right. He was down on the ground going... <laughs> <laughs> I like how I went to do this, but I, like, flicked my chin, not my tongue. Um, Well, you get the beard oil, so just, there you go. Yeah, it's a little oily. (laughs) Just one eyebrow. The beast was gone. Oh, my gosh. So he's the experienced tracker. The beast wandered (laughs) from what he could tell through the paw prints. The beast Ah. had wandered around the side of the creek a brief bit before Tom lost the tracks. But a short distance later, he saw them again. I think it was like 30 yards or 30 yards farther down. He picked them up again. Fun. <coughs> a fun. <laughs> it's a far distance for yeah. no tracks and then tracks. Yes. Must have been dry in that area or something. Right. But sometime later, he picked up the tracks again, like I said, 30 years later. This time, they were very prominent, and they were sunk down in the mud quite deep, like two inches <laughs> or so. Yeah, they were two inches. Yeah. 